Hello email marketers, thanks for checking out another episode from How to Webmaster. My name is Leon and today I am reviewing MailWiz. It is a bulk email marketing app. So if you're sick of overpaying for your autoresponders, email, uh, bulk email marketing services or tools from the likes of Aweber, GetResponse, MailChimp or those other expensive companies you want to switch to a self-hosted solution you can save a lot of money and as you can see here MailWiz has around 8,000 sales with 577 customers with a 5 star rating this is one of the best if not the best email marketing app on the market right now it's fairly priced at 59 bucks it's super easy to use and you can actually test it out right now by visiting the link um, check out the link in the description below this video and I'm actually quite surprised that MailWiz is so cheap because it's more than just a bulk email sender or mass email sender it's actually a fully functional uh, autoresponder solution where you can offer the service just like Aweber or GetResponse yourself so you can actually have customers sign up to your MailWiz application and pay you a monthly fee or whatever you want to charge them to send out emails for your customers and it's all automated so MailWiz comes with the admin back end and a customer facing front end so it's kind of a weird setup if you just want to use MailWiz for your own sending email sending purposes but you need both of these you need to access both of these one to set up MailWiz with the back-end administrator setup to set up all your server delivery servers SMTP and then one is where you actually send out the emails so you can't send out emails with the admin in the admin back-end panel dashboard you can only send out emails from the customer uh, dashboard so it's kind of a weird setup but it works um, you just got to set up once we'll go over both both of these setups in just a moment I want to quickly go over the features of MailWiz and why it, it's the best it is constantly being updated and once again uh, it's got five stars and thousands of uh, comments and they provide extremely good support they have their own forums and you can also contact them through uh, Code Canyon by the comment here commenting system here it's been created back in 2013 and it's last updated um, as of today um, yesterday April 1st 2019 so it's been constantly updated um, the support is awesome good re great reviews and one of the, the best things I like about the MailWiz it integrates with SMTP servers such as Amazon and I'll show you guys my favorite two SMTP providers that are extremely extremely cheap you can send out about 10,000 emails for around a dollar so I'll, I'll talk about those when we get to the delivery servers um, settings 100% responsive so there's a lot of features there's way too many features and it's very overwhelming when you first um, get started with MailWiz but it's jam-packed with all these features and most of them you don't even need but it's there just in case you want it so they're constantly adding new features and for the price I think it's very cheap compared to paying hundreds of dollars to uh, Aweber or GetResponse for managing a list 
of uh, over 10,000 subscribers. So if you have a lot of subscribers, this may be a better way to send out your emails. Okay, so first you want to set up your administrator uh, from the administrator backend. So once you're logged in, you're greeted with this uh, quick tool and you can go and um, check out the features but I'm going to close it for now so basically again it is um, pretty overwhelming at first but it's not too bad so you want to make sure you go over the settings and Mailwiz do have documentation they have a lot of tutorials for you to set up uh, these uh, settings so basically click on each one of these so let's try out this one and then you enter in like your site name and your site tagline description and you go over each one of these settings and enter in and change as you need and then go to system URLs and then go through each one of these so it's a pretty overwhelming setup like I said but I want to show you guys um, just the delivery servers so you will need to set up the delivery servers, bounce servers, and so let's talk about the delivery servers. So the most important thing about having your own uh, bulk email sending app or tool is the actual sending itself. So what is the most, which is the most reliable, the cheapest? So you probably want to make note of this and I've tested pretty much all these services and the two that I found that was the cheapest and most reliable was of course we got Amazon SES it's a service by Amazon and it's less than I think a dollar for 10,000 email sends and a million will cost you a hundred dollars and then my next backup SMTP provider is Elastic Mail and they charge about the same rate as Amazon so these two guys right here so I highly highly recommend using these two for your sendings and it's pretty reliable and all the others are overpriced in my opinion and you can also set up your own SMTP if you have a VPS you can add that into the mix and what uh, the beauty of MailWiz is that you can rotate the SMTP servers so if you're sending out a thousand emails you can set where Amazon sends out 50% of it and then have elastic uh, email send out 25% and then have your own VPS server send out 25% so that's up to you you can control how you wanna rotate your delivery server and that's why um, one of the best features of MailWiz is the ability to rotate the SMTP uh, sending so that you don't get uh, flagged as spam by like Google, Gmail, Yahoo. If you send out say directly from your SMTP server 100% of the time and you send out thousands upon thousands of emails it's going to be flagged uh, very quickly so it's best to rotate your sendings so Amazon so you click here you enter in uh, whatever name you want the host name access key secret access key these are from Amazon AWS so you need to make an account there is a free setup and again it's a dollar to send out 10,000 emails and then here you set the probability the hourly quotas and they have a bunch of tutorials and tips on how to set up your delivery servers so once you have that done to send out the email you have to log into the customer uh, dashboard so it's a lot simpler than this overwhelming uh, all these features from the admin dashboard the customer dashboard is very easy basically you can import a list uh, and it kicked me out again so let me log in so you import your list create the list import your subscribers through a CVS 
uh, file and then you can create a campaign by simply going to campaign create it type in your campaign name and uh, choose your list and then you add in your subject line and then you enter in your email and then you click on the send button that's pretty much uh, all there is to the customer side import the list and send the email and I would not recommend setting up MailWiz on just a slow shared hosting environment because it takes a lot of resources um, MailWiz to send out the emails bulk mass amount of emails so it's best to do this on a VPS or dedicated server but if you have a fast shared hosting you can try it out and see if it works or you have a small list of less than uh, or a few thousand subscribers you can try it out on your shared hosting and see how that goes and that is the quick rundown of MailWiz I hope it helps if you have any questions let me know thanks for watching and until next time happy emailing